like nice hinges. They're just painted over like a million times. I should clean these up and use these somewhere else in the house. And it'll be a little tribute to the yuckiness that was once here. Mission successful. This room feels so much bigger without the door and without the cabinet. Holy cow. I'm so sweaty. That's it, I'm done for the day. beekeeping stuff and the bees are gone. I walked around a little ways and I can't find them. I'm so bummed. And now I don't know what to do. Do I save the hundreds of dollars worth of beekeeping stuff? for the next swarm that I get, whenever that may be. And if so, do I just set it out and hope that somebody makes a home in it proactively? Or, <laughs> I don't know, I don't know what to do. I was so excited. I literally spent like all last night, like seven hours up until like 1 a.m. researching how to keep bees. On the flip side, uh, I got a notification that Ikea delivered my stuff today. 
I couldn't figure out where because it wasn't on any of my patios. I left it on my gate. I don't mind. I just almost didn't find it. I didn't see it when I drove in, so. <sighs> Where'd my bees go? To make matters worse today, um, my lotus is dying, my memorial lotus. Um, I actually noticed this yesterday. Um, the lotus was like crispy and looking bad and I thought it was the heat for a little while but then it just kept getting worse and so I finally decided to dig it up the soil it's literally just sitting in a pot of water right now um and the tuber is rotted so i basically have two options i can throw it away um or i can try and cut it up and see if any of it <laughs> will live without the tuber um it's really actually surprisingly hard to find information about lotuses online that's not um filmed in India and not in English so I'm kind of flying blind here but basically I can't repot it as is it's too rotted it would die if I just tried to like repot it or if I had ignored it and didn't didn't dig it up it would have died it's it's too far gone so let's chop up a plant and see if it lives shall we depressing but I think to give the plant the best chance I am going to throw away all of this like these are okay but there there's nothing bulky on them and I'm not sure I just don't know if they can with these roots and these leaves just go and I'm hesitant to just throw stuff in the pot that has a little bit of rot because I don't want to like with the open wounds and everything I just created, I like, I sterilized the pot and I put brand new soil in there and stuff. I'm sanitizing the blade. Like I'm picking all the rotted, like outer casings and stuff off of everything. I'm trying really hard not to introduce anything, but look, all of this, like that's like eight, eight feet of vine that is just like obviously this stuff is way darker this is mush it's you can see where the plant tried to go a different direction because this is where this is where the tuber was the tuber literally fell off in my hand um and you can see just how far gone that is just garbage these are the last leaves it made um a bunch of new baby leaves so it, it tried to save itself um but yeah, it's probably about here that it's totally just garbage, no question about it. And then we're all the way another four feet and a couple of spurs where it's questionable. Like there's a lot of root rot. Um, and like there's some random ends that are you know, mush like that is mush. I'm just starting to attract bugs with the light on the camera, so I'm just gonna turn it off and I'll update you guys later. Okay, this is what I came up with. I only have kitty litter in here, um, which is clay, and I don't know, fingers crossed. I have two. This is the really, the best one. This is the one I was like, I felt really confident in. That's the next best one. And then all of this is one vine and I have no idea <laughs> if it'll survive, but water's still pretty cool. And I don't know, fingers crossed.
I'm not actually surprised. It's monsoon season. If you didn't know, the summer is actually the wet season in the desert. I get our summer monsoons. So it's thundering and raining and I just went and walked around outside to check out my roof because this is the first like big rain that I've had since I got the roof. And so I was just wanting to see where all the water was draining, if it was draining correctly off the roof slants and stuff. So yeah, I have to work on this travel though. If I don't, I have to keep the wet edge. I'm, stuff's drying on me, I've gotta go. Gotta go. The whole, the whole seal on that is not 